August 10th, the year is 2022. So there's an article that just came out in the Atlanta Journal Constitution. It says early data shows early data data, whatever you want to pronounce it, shows that monkeypox is disproportionately affecting black men. I'm not surprised that uh, here in Georgia. It's not, I'm not surprised that here in Georgia um, that we have a problem with a large black city, Atlanta, large black city, large black population, large black gay city, large black population of black gay men. Um, so here in Atlanta, Georgia is infecting an overwhelming number of black people compared to other races. Um, from the very beginning, the CDC had said that the monkeypox is mainly affecting gay men. So you take a city like Atlanta, which has a large black gay population, you throw in monkeypox. And we got a problem. So I don't know why people are so offended by this. And some people say it's stigma. I mean, the people, gay folks stay in their feelings for some odd reason. I'm like, y'all always so sensitive about truthful stuff. I think I would rather know as a black gay man that, was, that there is a disease out here being spread among us black gay men so that we could protect one another or protect ourselves for that matter. I'm still trying to get the monkeypox vaccine. Haven't had much of luck yet. Well, you know, I'm not out here really involved in the community. Um, I don't really, I'm not out there mainly at home. I don't even, I haven't even ventured back into the gym for that matter. Still a little nervous about going there to the gym because it was the rush. And try to get this monkey box vaccine. Uh, it'd be the disaster, the disaster if I, could, if I get monkey pox, you know, trying to go work out the gym if that, if it were to. Although the, the slim, the likelihood that's very really slim to none. I still don't want to be protected from going into an environment where I know diseases. And gyms are known to pass diseases, staph infections, viruses, bacteria, fungus, you name it, you can get it in a damn gym. For those of you who don't know that, I know this. I've known this for years. Haven't had staph infections on my back from working out on equipment that was improperly cleaned. That's why I clean everything down now. However, it are a lot of black people being uh, a, a lot of black men, a lot of black people in Georgia who are being having an impact on this. That, you know, monkeypox is very heavily concentrated within communities of color. Um, in Atlanta, at this point in Atlanta, monkeypox is very heavily concentrated within communities of colors. I'm fine with that. What I mean by that is I want to know the truth. So now that we know that it's predominantly black men in Georgia, in Atlanta, who are dealing with monkeypox, how to proceed forward. That way we can get it under control. They even give you a breakdown. 82% black people 14% white, under 1% Asian, are multiracial. The data also knows that 60% of the cases are among Hispanic people. So we got 82% of all the people who tested positive for monkeypox in Georgia, 82% of them have been black, more than likely gay, more than likely living in Atlanta. So wouldn't it make sense for the state of Georgia to put all their resources, vaccination, testing, into areas where we know there is a high risk of infection in the city of Atlanta. You know, I have friends that run all over the state of Georgia getting shots for monkeypox. People go to drove all the way up to Dalton, Georgia, a two hour, 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 hour and a half, hour, one hour, hour and a half drive to Dalton to get monkeypox vaccination shots. Why does Dalton, Georgia have an allotment of shots? Why? Our shots all in, uh, in Hall County in Athens. Why didn't they concentrate 
the vaccinations where they were needed here in Atlanta. But during predominantly in black neighborhoods, we got the information in front, in front of us. We see it, we read it, okay. Let's put the vaccinations in the communities that need it. Not way north, south Georgia. What the fuck is going on here? This is the most ignorant shit I've ever seen in my entire life. This is when we don't have any type of leadership, particularly in the gay community. Someone should have came forward and said, hey, we need to concentrate these vaccinations in the areas where people need them, not spread all over the state. Even in the city of Atlanta, urban areas where, these, where we're having this problem, man. We already know the vast majority of these infections are driven by sex. Okay, so let's get that on out of the open. You know, even if you use a condom, you still can get monkeypox. So, with that said, let's put the money, let's, let's put the vaccinations, the testing, everything in areas where we see the numbers. We had to bring it under control. No one should have to drive to Dalton or Athens, Georgia to get a vaccination and they live in Atlanta. Why didn't they just bring it into the city of Atlanta? A mass vaccination site knocking this all out in a few days. Wouldn't that have made more sense? Some of this shit is kind of ass backwards. I'm not going to say there's a leadership gap here. But there's no leadership here. This is a bunch of chaos and confusion. So, I thought the article was very interesting. And I think a lot of people... <laughs> may not like what the article is saying, but I think I'd rather deal with the truth. I'd rather deal with the fact that we have a large, that we know where it's at, we know where it's spreading, predominantly in the black gay community in Georgia, in Atlanta, in in this region at least. You have a large, this is, it's just, plus it's reality. We have a large black gay population in the city of Atlanta, large, Group, the biggest group of gay, gay black men on planet Earth. So why not focus on, concentrate on vaccinating and testing them and getting everything squared away there so that we can stop the disease from spreading, at least in this part of the country, at least this part of, of uh, in Georgia, at least here in Atlanta. And doesn't that make the most sense? At least it does to me. But I guess, you know, I mean, who am I? I'm just an old idiot on the internet, so don't pay me no attention. It's a very interesting article. Um, and it's <sighs> nearly all cases to date have been among men who have sex with men, and nearly all of the cases. Health officials have also say the virus could begin to spread more broadly, which hasn't really happened yet. There have been some children who have been impacted and infected. What are you doing? You can't bark at your toys. You were there barking at his toys. And then like, this, y'all, y'all, y'all remember this, this puppy's a little baby. A little bitty baby. A little kid. Quiet. Yeah, boy, it's a, it's a, this morning he's been all over the damn place, all over his damn house. I took him out twice, gave him a little toy to play with, rolled around. Fed. I think I fed him too soon. I should have, what I should have did was started feeding him at about the same time. I started this video because he'd been over eating it. I forgot I used to do that with Manny in Vegas. I would feed them and then make a video. That way they'd be over here eating while I'm making my video to him. <laughs> eating breakfast looking at me like who the fuck are you talking to that man that nigga crazy as hell this food, food show is good it's real he's eating away I need to remember that I mean, anyway I think a lot of people I don't know why gay people get so offended by truthful stuff the monkey pox is spreading through the black community mainly being spread through sex uh, don't take a rocket science and figure that one out what's the issue Is that hard to understand? Mainly black men, gay men, passing it amongst each other, at least here in Atlanta. Large black gay city, a lot of gays, a lot of black gays at least. A lot of sex, a whole lot of sex. Fucking, 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 like dogs in fucking heat. 
<laughs> and then, I, you know, I was at a card party. What the fuck? Okay, you got caught monkeypox at a card party. Really? Okay. Could be true. I don't know. You're at a card party playing cards. Now I got monkeypox got my ass. Let me tell y'all something I learned about gay men. Particularly black gay men. They the biggest lies on planet Earth. They lie about everything. Thing. I'm an angel. They when they pretend they're the biggest angels. I don't know how I got HIV. I can imagine how you got it. You didn't get to tell us you were just singing in choir and church choir, just singing and singing praising Jesus and HIV snatch your ass up. Now that don't work that way. They lie about everything. You know, it's just I was playing cards and monkeypox grabbed my ass up. You all believe that one? I don't. But it could be true. I just don't believe it. <laughs> you know, I don't. I know how these guys, I know how monkey boxes being spread in Atlanta. It's a whole lot of. That's how it's being spread. Not no, in no quiet either. Some other type of slapping going on. And so they get this. So why not focus on the city of Atlanta? Large vaccination sites. You know where the problem is. We see it in the data. We see it's black guys. We know they're gay. Let's focus on gay men, bisexual men, DL, whatever the fuck y'all want to call them. They just focus on them. Set up big tents. Bring in some vodka some club music or whatever they listen to today, DJ, and get them to get some shots. Throwing some wings to the chicken wings. They love them damn chicken wings. Can't, can't have vaccination of them without liquor and chicken wings. Get them gays over there. Oh, they got, chicken, they got free chicken wings and liquor and a DJ too? And do it at 12 midnight. Not 12 noon. Midnight, they wake up like vampires. <sighs> They damn shots. That's what leadership would do. That's what I would do. <laughs> okay, let's set this shit on up. We're gonna put it over here on Tenth and Spring Street where they like to hang out. You know, set up at midnight, big old tent. You know, music, DJ spinning, you know, music playing. Everybody, you know, Beyonce's new song going there. DJ, however, a song just play that old CD over and over. They love that shit. They play it on there. Got our little chicken wings and barbecue cooking over here. All set up. We got liquor, you know, vodka. Cranberry, tons of cranberry juice. Can't run out of cranberry juice. You're mocking them niggas and leave shit. And make sure we got what else they drink. Down tequila, hang Get that damn tequila over there. You make some margaritas. We get everything all over there. Set up and let's vaccinate these folks. This is what we got to do to vaccinate these people. That's what leadership would do. <laughs> they all there together. Show them how much you give their shots. Get your shot. Get your shot. Get you a plate of ribs and chicken wings and get you to get you your drink. Get your drink. There you go. Now you got your shot. Next. I don't know what's going on with this damn phone. It's beautiful out today. I got the door open now. Let's in the this damn house. Let's in here. The air condition is off today. What is the temperature? Because I'm just noticing it's kind of cool. 79 degrees, is that correct? Wow. Yeah, no wonder. I noticed it was cool. I said it's kind of cool in here. I opened up the door, let some air in here. 79 degrees. For this to be an August day, it would only be at 79 degrees today. That's excellent. Is it going to rain today? It's going to rain tomorrow. Yeah. Let's charge this damn phone. I'm just making all that racket. But anyway, I just wanted to do a video to, to go over what I saw in the Atlanta Journal Constitution. At least here in Atlanta, we know the vast majority of, of monkeypox is black alien. And I kind of figured that. So I was seeing it on my timeline on Instagram, Facebook, you know, Twitter. I'm, I'm looking at it. 
I'm like, okay, there's a lot of black guys who get this thing. Now we have the the data, the data, the data, whatever. So let's go after black men now. Let's get them vaccinated. Let's get them. Let's get let's get the information to them. Hey guys, this is what's happening in your community, my community, our community. And let's resolve this before it gets worse. See how easy that is? It can't be that damn hard. <laughs> the stigma. Oh, okay. We ain't going to deal with the stigma right now. We're just going to deal with the truth. They done made up data. This is fake. How are they going after us? Oh, no, they're not coming after y'all. This is the information that they have got from the medical. What is this? All this conspiracy theory. I've never cared for living in conspiracies. Black folks know they love to cook up some damn conspiracy bullshit. They love to ah, have conspiracy against us. No, there ain't no conspiracy against you. Sit your ass down someplace and set the fuck up and keep your underwear in your ass. And we can stop this shit before. Then we knew about this for a couple of months now. Y'all niggas ain't sat down and kept your underwear on and stopped all this random fucking yak. You ain't stopped it. You didn't. I had a card party. We ain't believing that, honey. We ain't going for that one. Not today. But in the meanwhile, Instead of let's focus on what they're doing to pass monkeypox around, let's focus on getting them vaccinated, let's get them tested, let's get them in treatment, let's get them isolated, let's get the knowledge out there and the information and see if we can bring them under control, at least here in the Atlanta area. So that, those numbers are based on that. I don't, they didn't discuss New York, Boston, Baltimore, Chicago, they ain't all these other places where monkeypox is running around, snatching poor innocent souls up playing cards. Right now, we're just talking about Atlanta. But again, these are just my thoughts and my opinions. I would love to hear you all's thoughts and opinions about, ooh, yeah, it's kind of strange. Not strange to me that, that it's a large, that a lot of black men, a lot of blacks in Atlanta. It's a large black city, but y'all, a lot of black folks here. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. And you have a large black gay population, so to be expected. I was not surprised when I saw that article. I said, okay, well, that pretty much seems accurate. At least here in Atlanta. You know, we're not... Uh, and I'm sure in predominantly white gay cities, you, the data probably shows that for white gays. So, anyway. I'm going to do a video about that. Today is Wednesday. I got stuff I need to do. I'm tired already. I need to go back and go to sleep. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I had some coffee. Just ate a salad. No, oh, I'm tired. Yesterday, I was busy as hell. Ooh, ooh. I think I was wild from yesterday. My house had to get more trash out to that curb last night, which required me to have to... <sighs> There's a lot of trash over here that was in the garage, and I knew I was going to have to sort through. I got... A large amount of it out there is still something I got to sort through there. It's like, okay, this is like a never end of nightmare. But as the weeks go by, every week, every trash them and try to get more stuff out there. I don't want to overwhelm the niggas out there. They show like, luckily, this morning, they did pick everything up that I put out there last. I had to go over there and supervise it. As they don't pick this shit up or what? And put it in the damn truck. Do I need to put it in there? The last few times, I put it in the trash truck. Literally myself. I went down there and met them at the curb. It looked like they picked up everything this morning and walked down there and see. I wouldn't, I, most of it was gone from what I saw earlier. We get we have two trash picks up, it looks like. I don't know. And then the weather's not that bad out today, so they should be. I don't know. Anyway, today is Wednesday, August 10th, the year 2022. I look forward to reading you all's thoughts and comments. And I'm out of here and enjoy the rest of your day.